some of y'all think that my patch panel is actually modular in a sense. So we're gonna try and switch around some of those, I guess, panels. Uh, so that way we can avoid having to upgrade our, or my current patch panel. That's what we're gonna take a look at and see if it actually can be switched around. And if it is, then sweet, I saved some money. But if it's not, oh well, I guess we'll just have to get a new one. So let's check it out. So there's no easy way to show this, but basically what I'm hoping to do is there's screws on the back side of this. I'm hoping to unscrew those and then be able to move these plates uh, around. So that's the goal, but I don't know if it's quite possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this off camera, unfortunately, and then uh, we'll see what we can do. Potentially by unscrewing these two screws, this plate might pop all the way out. And if it does, we'll be in business. Uh, so I'm going to try that. Again, I can't really record this and show you guys, so bear with me. Alright, cool. So yeah, after unscrewing those two screws, this whole thing pops out. Uh, so we are able to rearrange this, thankfully. So the goal is to have all the PoE to the left and then all uh, non-PoE to the right. Because if you remember from the previous video, my new Ubiquiti switch only has PoE on the left side, so ports 1 through 16 and then everything else on the right is non-POE. All right, again, so because I can't show you guys while I work, because I'm like literally on this ladder in this tight, confined space, um, I've got the entire patch panel removed and then literally everything's still plugged in and just kind of hanging here. Uh, so we're gonna, we've got these moved around. So this is all the POE stuff, all the cameras around the house and access points. This is non-POE, basically to all the bedrooms. Okay, so that was painless. Uh, we're all done. All we need to do now is change all of these labels uh, around. So these labels need to go here and these labels need to go here. And uh, yeah, that, that's it. That's literally it. And then of course on my rack, uh, the way I do it is white cables don't have any power and all the blue cables have power. So that way we know which ones are power over ethernet and which ones are not. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get everything plugged back in and I think we're basically done. All right, boom, that's done. That's the final product. I think it looked pretty good. Ran out of blue, these blue cables had to resort to a ubiquity one. And I forgot that the master bedroom actually needs PoE. So we have this like one nice overstretch. Uh, wish I could have bought a full PoE switch instead, but they were always sold out. But whatever, at least it still looks clean and it doesn't look like a rat's nest. So I don't hate it. At the end of the day though, I have to thank you guys for at least letting me know about the patch panel being rearrangeable. Cause that saved me about like 30, $40 to be able to patch panel went with. So that's cool. And uh, well, I guess we'll just end the video here because that, that's really all there is. We're just switching those, th those two little, uh, I guess, panels around. I don't know what to call them. So uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate all the input and uh, thank you guys for everything. Peace.